Hello everyone, in this video I am going to explain a numerical on TCP control flags. Now the numerical is, what can you say about the TCP segment in which the value of the control field is one of the following. Here we are given the values of the control field. The control field of TCP is of 6 bits specifying 6 flags of 1 bit each. So in the given options we are having 6 bits for the control fields. Now to solve this example first of all you should understand what is a TCP segment, what is the structure of the TCP header and the flags in the TCP header. TCP segment has header followed by data. Header is of fixed size 20 bytes with options it can be extended up to 60 bytes and the TCP segment can be minimum of 20 bytes because header is mandatory for TCP communication. Without header part communication is not possible because header carries the addressing information and the control information. So the minimum size of TCP segment is 20 bytes and maximum size of TCP segment is 65535 bytes. Now, the control field of TCP has six flags, urgent flag, ACK flag, push flag, reset flag, seal flag and finish flag. The urgent flag, when it is set to 1, it means that the urgent pointer in the TCP header is valid. It is in use. For example, the urgent pointer specifies an offset of 20 bytes from the initial sequence number then those 20 bytes are urgently required by the TCP receiving application. For example the se initial sequence number is 501 and the urgent pointer specifies an offset of 20 bytes it will point to the last byte of urgent data that is 520. So 501 to 520 total 20 bytes are urgently required at the TCP receiving application. So when this urgent pointer has to be used this urgent flag must be set to 1 and those 20 bytes will be sent immediately to the receiving application but may not be sent in sequence. The second flag bit is ACK it is for acknowledgement ACK bit is set to 1 means the acknowledgement is valid when ACK bit is set to 1 it means that the acknowledgement number which is carried in the TCP header is valid. The third flag bit is push. When this push flag bit is set to 1, it means that the entire data which is carried in the TCP segment must be pushed immediately to the receiving application. And whenever the data is pushed to the receiving application, it is always pushed in sequence. The fourth flag bit is reset. It is used to reset the connection. It is actually used to abruptly reset the connection if there is any fault in the TCP connection. The next flag bit is sync flag. It is used for synchronization during the connection establishment phase of TCP. And the final flag bit is finish. It is used to gracefully terminate the connection. Now from these given bit patterns, we have to identify the type of segment and we need to draw some conclusions from the identified segment. Now the first option is 1 0 0 0 0 0. In this the urgent flag bit is only set to 1. Rest all flag bits are set to 0. It means that the type of TCP segment is urgent segment. So urgent segment means urgent pointer is in use. This urgent pointer is in use and uh, sorry urgent flag is set to 1 and urgent pointer is in use. And urgent pointer when it is in use, it specifies the offset from the initial sequence number as I explained before. So offset of 20 bytes from the initial sequence number of 501. Only the urgent data is sent to the application layer immediately when the urgent pointer is in use and this urgent data may not be sent in sequence. The second option is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. I am saying option. Option means the given option in the Example, this is the bit pattern for the control flag. Now, as per this control flag pattern, only finish flag is set to 1. So, the type of TCP segment is finish segment. This finish segment is used to request the, for terminating the 
connection it is used to gracefully terminate the connection and when the finish flag um carries no data it consumes one sequence number the third bit pattern of control flag is 010001 here the urgent flag bit is set to 0 ack flag bit is set to 1 push flag is set to 0 reset is set to 0 sync is set to 0 and finish flag is set to 1 so ack and finish flag bit are set to 1 therefore the type of segment is ack plus finish segment and if this segment is carrying no data then it consumes one sequence number the fourth bit pattern for control flag is given as 000100 here the bit corresponding to reset flag is only set so it is the reset segment and this reset segment is used to terminate the connection abruptly whenever there is some fault in the connection or something goes wrong in the connection the next bit pattern for the control flag is given as 000010 the bit corresponding to sync flag is set to 1 so it is a synchronization segment and this synchronization segment is used for synchronization during connection establishment phase when this sync segment does not carry any data it consumes one sequence number next bit pattern for the flag field is 0100 1 0 now here the ack flag bit is set to 1 and the sync flag bit is set to 1 so the type of tcp segment is ack plus synchronization segment and when this kind of segment carries no data it consumes one sequence number next bit pattern given to us is 000000 none of the flags are set in this given bit pattern so the type of segment is data segment and this data segment does not carry any acknowledgement no piggybacking is used in this type of segment the segment carries only the information no acknowledgement no piggybacking when uh, acknowledgement is carried along with the data it is called as piggyback acknowledgement but here in the data segment only data is carried no acknowledgements are carried so no piggybacking is used over here now this completes the example but we'll consider one more option for the flag pattern over here let us say the flag bits are given as 010000 now for this given flag bit pattern the ack flag only ack flag bit is set to 1 so it means that the type of tcp segment is ack segment now since it is ack segment it is carrying data also with it so such type of segments are used for piggyback acknowledgements here the acknowledgement is sent along with the data in the segments so such kind of segments are the, are the piggyback acknowledgement segments so this completes the example thank you